Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, we would like to share how to create chat boxes as well as check and uncheck all these chat boxes in one click. Firstly, to insert chat boxes, go to the developer tab in the controls group, click on insert. There are two types of controls, namely the form controls and the ActiveX controls. Let's try for the form control first. Click on check box and insert at the desired place. Click on the text box and delete the brace. Size the chat box within a cell. Move the chat box to the desired position if needed. Lastly, click on the cell with the chat box and move the cursor to the bottom right corner. Then click and drag it. And we should have a list of chat boxes which we could check whenever needed. However, let's say, if you wish to check all these chat boxes in one click, in the controls group, click on insert. Insert a command button by using the ActiveX control. Insert at the desired place. Click on properties, change the caption, the back color, the font, select the desired style and click on OK. As well as the full color, change to the desired type. Close the window and now double click on the command button to write the code. To check all chat boxes in one click, we need a full loop and we run through each checkbox by using a dummy called CB for example. It can be any letter or any verse as long as it's not a reserved verse. And where is this checkbox's place? They are all on this sheet named sheet1. So we have to type in sheet1 dot and they are all checkboxes. And now it's the time for us to change the value of this checkbox by using the dot value property set equal to XL on. Finish the first checkbox. Of course, we need to move to the next. Back to the spreadsheet of the design mode and we should now be able to check all checkboxes by using this command button as we can see here. To uncheck all them in one click, also in the controls group, insert another command button. Let's insert at the desired place. Also, click on the properties, change the caption and whatever design if needed. Close the window and double click on the command button to write the code. Instead of retyping the code, we can actually copy whatever we have. Place it here. Change XL on to XL off and the coding part is now done. Back to the spreadsheet, also off the design mode. Click on the reset button or unchecked. Now let's try for the active X control. In the controls group, click on insert. Under the active X control, select checkbox. Insert at the desired place. Click on properties, delete the caption. For the back style, change to transparent. Close the window, resize the checkbox and fit it within a cell. Move the checkbox to the desired place if needed. Then right click the checkbox, select format control. Click on the properties tab, select move and size with cells. Click on OK. And now select the cell with the checkbox. Move the cursor to the bottom right corner, click and drag it. And we should have a list of checkboxes. To check all them, double click on the check all button. The code is different from the form controls. We should bear in mind that the checkbox that insert under ActiveX control is known as an OLE object. We need another for loop. Also for each, play a dummy. Let's say OBJ stand for object in sheet 1 dot. And this time we should choose OLE objects. Press enter and we should need a condition. This is because both the command button and the checkbox that insert by using ActiveX controls are known as the OLE objects. So we should check name. Use the in string function bracket. We should check the name starting from the first character. Comma, the name of the object. We can call the object followed by dot name property. Comma, the string that we are looking for that is check box. However, I'm going to name only check since no other objects with a name that consists of the word check. An important thing we should take note here is type together with the quotation box since this must be in terms of string close bracket 
to end the in string function. If we are able to find this words in the name of this object, it would definitely return a value greater than zero. If that is the case, then we can now make the checkbox check call the object followed by dot object followed by dot value and we set equal to true start with if of course we need to end with if finish the first one proceed to the next and the coding part is now done and we should now be able to check all checkboxes in one click let's copy this code and paste it in the command button to procedure change true to false so that we are able to uncheck all checkboxes when we click on this reset button let's back to spreadsheet of the design mode click on the check all button all check click on the reset button all uncheck okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you